to wait for guidance from a queen I killed to find my way to the shards of Arthur's soul. Her annoyingly cryptic remark alluded to Queen Guinevere, of course, so I wasn't surprised when I received a message from Queen Guinevere by a raven that could talk. Guinevere is under siege. If I help her, I will get that promised guidance. What a ragtag army. Savage Picts and cunning cutthroats from the woods. Why are they laying siege to Guinevere's castle? Somebody must have sent them here. The man who killed me. Imagine my surprise when I heard about your arrival in Avalon. You were an option, my best, my only option. I am a priestess of the Lady of the Lake and you serve her. She sent you here and she knows why. Do you now? You sound almost like Sir Lancelot. Get a move on then, we are running out of time. I can't hold the walls much longer. My castle is under siege, I will await you here. Follow my ravens and do what you always do. Kill everyone who stands in your way. Please. Finally! Oh, the subtle thread of manipulation I had to weave to make these two meet. A queen and a king killer. Destroy their advance guard first, then we can talk. It won't be a problem. on the cross. At 
at your service, my lord. your service, my lord. <sighs> Impressive. This is how I remembered you, Sir Mordred. Covered in blood, seething with fury. Rabble. Morgal's lured savages here to weaken my defenses, while her real army is preparing for the final charge. She also employs bands of mercenaries. The Picts are her elite warriors. With an army like that, she could conquer the entire island. This is not my side, Mordred, but yours. Arthur has fallen, and you are the only one who was chosen by the lady. Prove yourself. I will never forget what you did, but Avalon needs you. Arthur is gone, and all that remains of him is a terrible monster. It must be destroyed. Yes, they built a siege engine on this side of the tower, and a picked shaman is preparing a powerful spell on the other. We have to stop them before it's too late. It could make you a worthy man. Worthy of yourself, of the Lady of the Lake, and yes, of me too. Who do you take me for, Mordred? I can take care of myself and I will accompany you. Blood and sweat. Garbage. Or real treasure this time. What is this thing? to fight. I 
I serve the Lord. At your service, my lord. enemies. The Picts brought her here. They thought they could keep her in chains, but now she rules them by fear and magic. We must stop the summoning ritual. With each passing heartbeat, the danger grows. I serve the Lord. Your orders? I fight for honor. Serve the Lord. Here it comes. The 
worm of the earth. Kill it. I am alive to go. See for the wicked. None left standing. One less abomination crawling around. Let's destroy that siege engine now. I am humbled by the Lord's gift. Resting is over. Take a look at this. Is it worth dying for? God Almighty has a plan for you, Mordred. You might sneer, but your doubts still don't make me wrong. Why would Morgul send an army to lay siege to your tower? For the Excalibur. I kept the sword for Arthur, and Morgul thinks it is still here. I see a campfire. to fight. Your orders? Your Highness? 
I serve the Lord. Another fine day. for honor. I am here to serve. I fight for honor. I serve the Lord. You suffer no more. <laughs>
for Avalon. shall be your service, my lord. <laughs> that the lady arranged this meeting for a reason. She wants us to talk about Arthur. I know you defeated the Knight of Midnight, and we both know about the shards of Arthur's soul. I can help you more than you think. The fragment you are looking for is embedded in the tortured flesh of the Fisher King. When the king suffers, the land suffers with him. It happened to Arthur in Britannia, and so it is happening here again. Before the storm, this land belonged to King Pelham, a righteous ruler who devoted his life to the Christian God, but never tormented the followers of the old faith. Worse, reborn as the Fisher King, he is a monstrous fusion of Arthur and Pelham, ruling with an iron fist and through terror. No. Morgaus is leading the picks against him. The wasteland is devouring their forests, and as long as the king is alive, the rot will spread. He lives in Corbinic, in King Pelham's castle. The Holy Grail was guarded there by Sir Percival, but after the storm, it all changed. He is Arthur sometimes. He remembers me. But that fragment is barely more than his remaining hatred and suffering. The Grail is lost and Sir Percival has been exiled. Now the castle is the heart of the Wasteland, and the King's sick soul is poisoning the land of Avalon from there. The Fisher King almost never leaves his castle, but I can lure him out. Arthur's fragment has feelings for me. Be ready and wait for my call, Sir Mordred. We'll meet him and together, we shall kill him. I shall put this to good use. 